Okay, so just seeds upsetting seeds, you know. Um, but but skill wise, yeah, there's not you know they're 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 both really respectable teams to have. Yeah, um, I know Sup usually is like a doubles technician. Mm -hmm. You know, he only really enters doubles nowadays. Yeah, uh, more so than singles anyway. So uh, something he does a lot of. So yeah, we we have a pretty good turnout today actually. I think it turned out well. Do you know how many teams we might have had? Well, yeah, it's 17 actually today. That's pretty good. 17, I, you know, yeah. 16 was like last week I think, or last time we did this, or you know, so that's you know, 16 to 20 is like what you'd expect. Yeah, then for the side event, I think we got 28 people actually. That's awesome. Yeah, so side event is looking good. You know, <laughs> I you know one stock is pretty awful in my opinion, yeah. just because you can't like. <laughs> I don't know, you can't adjust to what they're doing that game, and then you have to go into the next game. Which, you know, I don't like right. that, but... Well, you know, I yeah. mean, it was just a joke yeah, that it's was started mean, by so DeBuzz. Like, it was yeah. a modest proposal reference by DeBuzz, and it blew up. And uh, I mean, if we actually enacted that sort of thing, where for those of you that don't know, the, the side event is one stock, best of seven. If you enabled that, I feel like grapplers would be modestly OP. <laughs> I yeah. mean, it'd just be a little ridiculous. Like um, if you got momentum with Bowser just for a few seconds, yeah, you just I win mean, the game. You know, yeah. Or DK or, right. or Bayo. Or there's certain characters yeah. that would just stomp other characters. Or right. back. Right. <laughs> but uh, in this game right here, it looks yeah. like we have Nam and Daybreak versus Finn and Ori. Probably two pretty high seated teams here in this matchup. I think it's Nam and Daybreak are probably third or second. Uh, Ori, we see an SD trying to like zero death Nam. Okay. Just didn't work out. Yeah, so Nam a bit of a master of offstage gameplay, especially in doubles. Um, we've seen how much pressure he can actually apply. It's it's off the charts, if you ask me. All right, though, so far we have Red Team in the corner. They need to find their way out off this platform. And with Double Bayonetta, you'd think they'd have quite a few avenues to go. Yeah, the thing is, though, in like, um, doubles, a little bit harder for Bayo to escape stuff simply just because your opponent can cover what Bayo does. Oh, wow, okay. Wow, at like 80%, <laughs> which is surprising for Limit Cloud. Yeah, just the bread and butter and Cloud getting it just a little bit heavier with the gravity. But uh, that up smash will connect. Kind of just catching him in the air. All right, he will make it back. Right now, Finn kind of just stuck in the center here. And look at this yeah. pickup from, oh, wow, that offstage pressure. Oh. Picking up the bouncing fish. Oh, I thought that was going to be a, like a platform, you know, what do you call it? Yeah, angel platform combo right there. there. Almost, but not quite. So far, Nam has yet to lose a stock. So, you know, 133%, really outlasting uh, the rest of these players here. Oh, like, which time is hard. Uh, which I, time, yeah. It's a little harder, though, in doubles, right? Yeah, like, with which time, you can't do those nice conversions, like, that you get in singles. You can just kind of sit there. Hmm, do I want to up smash? Right. Do I want to up smash? <laughs> this, not so much. Yeah, a little tougher. And, and Bayonetta is known for their centric singles gameplay. But in doubles, you know, the, the dynamic changes. But still, it changes in a whole new way that's, you know, a threat in its own way. Yeah, right now, blue team pretty, pretty solidly with just winning this. I think, you know, that SD hurt, and then now it's just been stock tanking forever here. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, <laughs> he was. But still, though, I mean, you know, two minutes in with only three stocks left on the board to lose their, his first stock. Yeah. Pretty impressive. Especially as Sheik, right? Exactly, yeah. Sheik being pretty light. Yeah. All right, we'll catch the roller with the down smash. Great coverage coming out. Oh, no. Oh, no. oh no. what was that? That's unfortunate. <laughs> All right, Daybreak back in it, though. And they do have some stocks to play with. One stock apiece. For the only, red team. The only thing is, though, if the character could come back, it's Bayonetta. <laughs> like, oh, this, okay, I was saying, could that be it? But, <laughs> yeah. yeah, I was thinking, like, every time I see, like, the Wish Time, you know, it's like, Bayo with Rage, Wish Time is the stock. <laughs> I feel like he, did, he just had less time, so he just wanted to get some percent out of it, get some knockback. Oh, okay. Wow. All right, Daybreak, kind of a fan of the F Smash, turn, turn around F Smash and doubles. Um, Played him earlier in a set with my partner, and uh, that was a uh, go-to for him. Oh, or, uh, I was like, Aethan could have that after kill, actually. If he would have just, you know, ran over there and threw down, that could have been it. Yeah. Three stocks, though, to take. Now yeah, has a lot of work to do. Aethan yeah. just trying to find his way back onto the stage. Now I'm just needs one grab. Yeah. yeah. Or okay, I think that might have been a miss input. That was, yeah. <laughs> Definitely was supposed to be down B. I mean, not the worst miss input you could have made, but. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, you know, one could have been the game, the other damage. Yeah. 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 Oh, well, okay. that will work, though. Just great option coverage. Yeah, good read. Yep. Hmm. Just uh, perfectly placing themselves to cover uh, the entire ground. So he would, he would have had to, like, afterburn a kick, which, to, uh, which was something. Something that Bayonetta, only Bayonetta's can really do uh, to get back on stage. But that, uh, not that time. Yeah. 
Now, the thing is, that game was actually pretty close. Like, you know, w with the SD at, like, essentially 0%, that game was pretty close when you look when you think about it like that. So, we'll see what they could do here. And, okay, so they're both staying Bale. I was going to say, yeah, they might as well both stay Bale because I don't know how much Lucas would really help here against Sheik. So, that might be the back against the wall choice. Yeah. You know, that might be if we're down 2-0, I'll go Lucas and see what happens. But I, I like the Devil Bayonetta, and I think they're they, they're thinking the same way you did, right? We were in that. We yeah. had it. We, you know, Fortune SD, maybe a few mistakes here and there cost us an extra stock or two. We could have won. So I, I like the fact that they have the confidence to get back in there and do some work. But we're going to see what they got. So far, wow, this montage of damage being wow. put on Daybreak. <laughs> Daybreak, yeah, it's like 60% just from, like, that string right there. Wow, and Daybreak turning to the F smash again, but he will eat a definite punish for that. Oh my word! But yeah. it's gonna be coming back. Oh no, another SD. Yeah, and I think that might just be Aphen's maybe not so I wonder how well versed Aphen is and uh you know, on the fly recoveries. That will work though. Hmm. Oh it killed Daybreak. I thought it was kill I thought I killed Nile there, but no. no. Yeah. Daybreak stock will be taken. There goes Ori. So great coverage from Naham, the down smash. It's a go-to option on the ledge for a lot of clouds and doubles. Wow. Now I'm just absolutely destroyed. Uh, Aethan right there with that up B read. Yeah, so far Aethan's been a bit of the burden here, losing already two stocks down to his last. So uh, he needs to definitely try to find a way to stay alive longer and not get gimmicked or, you know, find easy ways to die here. All right, finishing touch. A little ambitious from Daybreak. Aphen just throwing out these smashes. Like. Yeah, I'm not sure what Aphen's <laughs> quite looking for. Um, Maybe he's just getting desperate. Like, that could be too. Yeah, a little de he notices his stocks are low and really wants to take some of these stocks. But great pickup from Nami. He's always ready right with the bouncing fish. Ooh, yeah. My word, Nam. Yeah, once again, three stocks. Just yeah. Over. This is this is looking really, this is looking way worse than the game one, honestly. Yeah. Like, I just love Nam's awareness and doubles. He just pays so close attention. And he teams with Maloney as a static partner. So you know he knows what to look for, uh, specifically with a cloud. Yeah, and uh, Daybreak in his own right, such a, well, a well-versed cloud. Yeah, all he needs to grab, and then grab into imagination. That was oh, so good. That was so nice. Yeah. Oh my god, I would have never <laughs> thought that too. I was like, oh, up air? Yeah. No, never mind. Fair bouncing fish. Yep. That's something they must have worked on, or something that he just knows the setup for. Mm -hmm. 